So you have all of your company data in a company file in QuickBooks Online, but now you want to figure out a way that you can take it from the cloud, get it back down to QuickBooks Desktop. During this video, we're going to show you the most update way as of April 2021 on how you can export your company file from QuickBooks Online to QuickBooks Desktop. Hi, my name is Matthew Fulton with Parkway Business Solutions. I wanted to thank you for joining us for another video today. Now, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please take a moment and do. For those who have, most likely you've already seen in the past where we've made videos trying to help other people understand how to get your QuickBooks Online data down to QuickBooks Desktop. Over the past couple of years, the process or the tips and tricks of how you have to do this seem to keep changing. So again, this is the most up-to-date version as of the end of April of 2021. So why don't we go ahead, let's get to jump in and we'll kind of show you what we have to do. To get this started, you need to log into your QuickBooks Online company file. Now, this is a fake company file and I'm using my accountant version, QuickBooks Online for accountants, but the same kind of concept. You do need to be logged in as an admin and once you're logged in, you're going to come up to your URL at the top here and you're going to change out this last little piece where it says homepage with uh, this extra little snippet, which we'll have in the comments below. It's the export QBO data to QBDT. Once you have that in there, you're going to hit enter. This is going to pull up a new page in just a moment here, which is going to give us the export capability. If you've tried this process before, this probably looks familiar and it's giving you some details of like your, what the export steps are going to look like. You're going to click start to get the process going. And this is where the big change is. And it took me a little bit of time to get this to, to happen correctly. They now have a brand new uh, export tool. It's a migration tool. So you'll need to download this tool. You'll also need to have a copy of QuickBooks Desktop ready to be able to open this up. When you're doing this process, the initial, you'll download it, have the, the file that you need. If it's a larger file, it's going to make you actually, uh, it may delay you before you can actually do the next step. But what, I, what you'll get is you'll click this, download the tool, you'll see it drops down a little setup file, and then you're just gonna click run it as an admin. It ends up providing something, um, a app on your computer that looks just like this. For us to accomplish this, we're going to need to know where we downloaded the QB XML file. Keep that in mind. It'll come up in just a second here. So we'll come over to continue at this point. Now at this point, it's going to ask us how much of the data we're looking to export. We have two options. We can either do all financial data, which is all the lists, the balances, the transactions. I mean, it's the whole kit caboodle. It's everything. Or you can actually just export the financial data, but without the individual transaction stuff. So it's a summarization of all the information. Most likely, you're going to be looking to do all the financial data. It's important to understand there, is, there are definite limitations of what you can and cannot export, a uh, certain length of names, so forth, and there's a checklist when you go through the process you should look at, of course. We'll choose all financial data, and we're going to click Continue. Now, in this scenario, I've already gone through this process once because we had a bit of a glitch with the download, so it's telling me, hey, You've already successfully downloaded this before. You can either click continue to download again, or you can start the process over. Now, the first time I tried to do this because it had that, uh, this message here and it was older, it popped me up a file that had a zero bit size and I didn't see that right away. So it aired out, of course. In this scenario, I'm gonna click on start over and we will, it's going to remind you there are certain things that you can and cannot take, like recurring transactions are not going to be, or templates won't be exported. So pay attention to here. If you need to print lists, do so. It's always better to have too much data than not enough. Click continue. And then you're going to put in your contact information so that it will tell you, they'll email you once the data is ready. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit in this process so we don't have to sit here and wait for the data to actually be ready. Because again, depending on the size of the file, it could take a bit of time. So what I've done is I actually went in and I found a different QB XML file that I can basically share with you guys at this time. So this part of the process, what we need to do is you're going to have your QuickBooks desktop company file needs to be open. Now, if you look at it though, QuickBooks is open, but no company files are open at all. At that point, once you've got that set up, 
this is where you're going to bring in your desktop migration tool, which will have been installed in the computer. And basically, you, you pull it up on, um, go to your apps, and you'll be able to pull it up right from the computer itself. So from here, you need to know where you saved that QB XML file to. Click your browse. I'm going to, like I said, cheat. We'll get straight to one that should work well for us here. Uh, and then you'll select the file and save. Now, this process is going to vary in time depending on how big your company file is. If it's a really large company file, it may take quite a bit more time. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to let this process through, let it do what it's supposed to. As you can kind of see, it's when you see the mouse moving around and everything else, that's a good sign. It's actually telling you it's running through everything. We've seen in the past, if you ever try to stop this mid-process and then try to start again, it will often error out and basically tell you that there's a company file open. And you'll have to close QuickBooks all the way, bring it back up. Once this pop-up is here, this is their web connector piece that you may be familiar with. You're going to come in and you're going to choose uh, yes whenever this company file is open. And if there, so you want to keep in mind if there's personal data into this, this is one time you probably want to check that box off specifically so it would be able to transfer it. Click continue. And we're going to then say done. Goes through, does its process still a little bit more. And then once it's done, you should get a full file that opens up. One of the things we, of course, recommend as this is working here is you want to make sure that you go and through QuickBooks Online, you're going to want to run your financial reports. So accrual-based um, uh, profit and loss balance sheet both, and you're going to run the same exact reporting for the same exact dates in desktop also. That way you can compare the two to make sure the numbers are exactly the same. You should also, of course, before you do any kind of an export, you're going to want to make sure that all of your financial data is all the way complete, up to date, everything reconciled. By doing that and cleaning everything up there, you're making it easier. If there is an error or a challenge, you'll be able to find it much, much faster. So don't, do, don't export a messy file and expect to clean one on the flip side. All right, so our, our data actually finished processing already very, very quickly. And this is a little bit deceiving. When you first see the screen within QuickBooks Desktop, it, it doesn't pop up and give you like, hey, I'm done. So you need to pay attention to that. But you'll notice be that along the top here, everything is actually illuminated instead of just file. And you're not seeing the, uh, the cursor flashing anymore. First thing I usually do at that point, uh, of course, you can go to, where is it? Your home page will pop everything up. Uh, you're going to want to see if you've got your accounts showing up here. Got data in there, it's looking good. And then again, you're going to come in, run your reports immediately so you can do a quick check. I traditionally, I will do a profit and loss for, depending on how big it is, I'll go all dates and I'll do columns by years. And again, you want to ensure it's cruel based. So this will make it to where you can check year to year to year. Uh, just super fast visual check to make. So hopefully this video showing you how to export your QuickBooks online company file back down to QuickBooks desktop has been helpful for you. This is a question we get from people all the time. So the process, we're glad to see this has opened up, become a lot easier. You no longer have to mess with special uh, web browsers like Internet Explorer, everything else. It works very easily through Chrome and pulls it right in. If you've got additional questions, leave a comment below. I'll we'll be sure to come back, try to answer them. But of course, if you haven't also joined, uh, we have a Facebook group. It's called QB Community Live in Facebook. And it's a group made of uh, 2,000 basically small business owners, bookkeepers, accountants, tax professionals, all focused on the idea of together we all succeed. People come in there when they have questions around accounting, small business, so forth. They can ask their questions and you have uh, some amazing professionals from around the entire United States, around, around the world truly, that can help try to answer questions for you as well. So again, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. We'll be continuing to bring you more tips and tricks. And as always, we, let, we wish you all a very successful week. Thanks.